So once you've logged in, you'll see the option to create your business card. So I'm just going to fill in these details. Put in my name and my company. And my company. And my company. So we'll be then prompted to pick a picture. So when I click on that, uh, it's going to open uh, my browser. I have an image saved from a workshop with a black box. Um, so what we'll have is a little crop uh, image holder in the middle of the screen you can make that smaller or bigger so i'm going to try and crop it so that it's just me in this particular picture okay i'm going to hit the choose button and next so you can add in your phone number i'm just going to make one up here So you'll just need to put in the international dialing code there as well and select the correct company. Oh, what? So I'm just going to go through the setup of the cards. Firstly, you'll be prompted for a few bits of basic information, like your name, your company, and your phone number. So I'm just going to input all of those. You can select a picture of yourself. I'm just going to navigate to my desktop and click open. So I've got an image from a workshop. I'll want to crop out the participants. Uh, so you can use this little bounding box in the middle and resize it by grabbing the corners. Once I'm happy, I can click choose. And next. So I'm going to input a phone number, select the United Kingdom. I'm going to put in an imaginary phone number. Then hit the next button. Input my email address. Input my email address. And then your card will be generated. You'll then be prompted to. OK, so now we are in the Hi, Hello, Me user interface. So there's a few tips here on the right hand side. I'm just going to close those. And we can have a work on personal. So we thought 
that this would be a really useful way for staff members and uh, child protection officers to send information. When you're sending your, your digital meeting details, you can include those details for staff members with uh, you know contact details, etc. on it. So you'll notice that it's automatically generated a work and personal. So you can have a couple of different cards um, and it could potentially be, you know, four members within within your team on the free account. So whenever I click on it, what you're going to see, first of all, is uh, our card, which is on the left. Then these are all the ways that you're able to uh, send your cards. You can use QR codes. You can copy the link, email, text, and there's also an Apple wallet option there. So if we're using it for workshops, probably a link is going to be the easiest. But what I'd like to do is maybe have a look at changing some of the details on our business card. So first of all, I'm going to hit the card settings. And you can see that you can pause. So what I'd like to do is edit some of the details that are on my card. So I'm going to click the edit button. So in the general, uh, I've actually noticed I made a spelling mistake, so I'm just going to change that. Uh, you can put in some accreditation, so I'm going to put in some of my qualifications. Um, there's a few extra fields here you can add in if you feel that you need to. Um, maybe the headline could be... job role okay and I can click the save button then in terms of display there are uh, I'm just going to click the edit button again here I'm going to click on the display tab so it's going to give me a couple of options in terms of the design you can see there's little stars beside um, sleek flat and modern so that means that they're premium so uh, I'm just going to stick with the classic you can change your profile picture in here or put in a video or a, an alternative photo there's also the option here to change the color scheme on your card if you want to add uh, your company logo uh, you can do just using uh, the simple upload button um, and pick something for, that's stored in your desktop I don't currently have one available but um, fairly straightforward badges is a premium feature so we don't need to worry about that uh, there are also some other options in terms of fields so at the moment we've got email and phone uh, one of the ones that I found really useful was maybe putting on your website so I will put in the gigabytes website in there and you'll notice that you can also change the display text so if alternatively you wanted to say website you can see that it now says website here but that will become a clickable link uh, I'm going to keep it as our um, domain name so there are other useful uh, options on the screen here as well if you want to use social media or messaging apps um, I'm not sure that any of the payment would be uh, sort of specific to us but uh, what I would like to do is we'd like to put in a link a link I found really useful now I would have done this for projects but it could be you know for your um, project page on a website it could also be potentially um, uh, an alternative link or uh, email address so I'm uh, I've actually got a project selected here um, it's a wee link on our website to good relations projects so I am going to click on that and change the text to good relations projects and that will now become a clickable link and um, there are various other ones 
there are various other buttons in here for a whole range of online apps and services. So they're all pretty straightforward and work in the same way. They'll have they'll have, you know, your your link, your URL or your, your tag, and then you can you can edit the text. So uh, the last one I'm gonna click on is the card tab. So you can change the name of this. So if you remember whenever I loaded up my Hi Hello Me account. Um, it had work at home, so I'm going to call this uh, Gigabytes. Once you're happy with all those settings, you can click Save, and that's it. You've created your card, um, and all we really need to do now is get, get the link for it. So there is an app for Google Android as well as Apple, which makes it really easy. Um, if you're out and about, just uh, use the QR code or the link. I'm obviously working on the desktop version here. So once this is saved, we will be able to uh, grab the link for my Hi Hello Me card and then you'll be able to send that to um, young people as part of your initial emails for staff members or for uh, child protection officers. So we can see um, we're now back into my card and I'm going to click copy link. Um, I'm just going to open a guest window so we can see how that link uh, looks. I'm just going to paste that in. And there you go. Really simple way, um, but looks really nice as well. Maybe better than putting in lots of lines of text within an email. And you can see as I roll over each of these, um, they are clickable links. So for example, if I click on the email address, um, that will automatically open uh, my mail apps and I can email, um, you know, whatever email address is in the card. So thanks for watching this Gigabytes video. If you have any queries, please drop it into your forum on the website and a member of our team will be in touch.